What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Quebec City Combatants Franchise Mode for NHL 23. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button. In this one, we are going to be playing our very first National Hockey League regular season game. Oh, I spent all the time doing all of the uh, special teams, editing all the lines and everything, and then just simulated to the start of the season where we did relatively well in the preseason, but very quickly. Let's just go over our lines one more time, give everyone a refresher. Top line of Alex Kalorn, Bo Horvat, and Vlad Tarasenko with the plus three. Second line is Gus Nyquist, Michael Backlund, and Trevor Moore. None of the other lines have bonuses, but we got Matthew Joseph, Philip Heedle, and Craig Smith on the third line, and Keegan Colasar, Colin Blackwell, and Michael McLeod to round it all out on the fourth. On defense, we got Ghost, baby, and Josh Manson. Second pairing of Brandon Montour and Calvin DeHaan. And on our third pairing, Martin Fairvari and Timothy Lilligren. Now we'll go down to the goaltendy Wendy's where we got Alex Nedeljkovic and Yuko Pekalukkanen. We are hoping to bring Alex Nedeljkovic out of the gutter. Hoping to turn this boy's career around. This team's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. For those of you who are new here to watching my franchise mode, what we do is we simulate uh, the first period of the game and then jump into the second. The period length is set to seven minute periods on all-star difficulty. It's a lot of fun, but this year I don't expect too much out of this team. After the first, it's one nothing Quebec City. Timothy Lilligren on the third pairing gets the first goal ever for Quebec City. All right, so starting off your first ever game is always fun when you start off with a lead. And we got a one nothing lead over the Winnipeg Jets. Our team is actually not that bad. We have uh, 89 offense. What, what was it? 89 offense, 90 defense, and 84 goaltending. Relatively solid. Mike, oh, man, Scheif stole that one away. Manson's backing off. Nice little defensive play. Nadelkovich has a little trouble with that one. Bobo sauced that thing out. And now we got Vlad Tarasenko bringing her into the zone. Gets around his man. Turn him back. Man, is Scheif ever on our defenseman? He's on Manson like hard. Here we go. Ghost holds it in. Low shot on net. That one's blocked by Nick Ehlers. And here comes Scheifele again for Winnipeg. Bringing it down the ice. So not a bad start. We're off to a not terrible start. Nice little save by Ned. Poke that one in front. Here we go. Bobo to Kalorn. No, Ehlers is way too skilled. <laughs> man, these Winnipeg Jets are whipping around on the ice right now. Here comes Ehlers, backs that one off to the point to Morrissey, back to Scheif, Scheif through traffic, throws that one just wide, and here comes Josh Manson picking that one up, oh man, we are so trapped, <laughs> look at, they got three of them on me, Jesus, they're attacking like so hard right now, Alex Kaloran just, oh man, got totally stuck in place, ghost time up, here we go baby, pull that thing out of there, here comes PLD, gets it to Blake Wheeler, who's unable to get the shot off, and there comes Moore, up to Backland, oh yeah, look at that, I like that though, eh, how they like point, there you go, nice little shot on goal. That one was easily sticked away, and Calvin DeHaan's trying to hang on to that one, having a little trouble with it. Same with Trevor Moore. Ooh, watch the sticks, man. I know uh, so far in NHL 23, the refs are very, very, very strict. <laughs> it's very easy to take penalties. Nice stop by Nadelkovich, and he's going to cover that one up, and we're going to get our third. There's two Tarasenkos. They doubled him. There we go. Philip Heedle on the ice for the very first time, taking a face-off, and he wins it. And Matthew Joseph gets it over to Calvin DeHaan, up to Craig Smith, the veteran. This is a very veteran team, though. This is actually a pretty old team. Let's whip that one around the net. Matthew Joseph gets there. Back to the point. Calvin DeHaan gets it over to my boy, Brandon Montour. What a deflection off the goalpost! Oh, my goodness. Moore gets it over to... Uh, Montour <laughs> gets it back to Don. Over to Joseph. Right in front. I tried to get it across, but Smith was coming at me instead of away from me. Don, keep that in. Get it to Smith. Throw that one. Hits a stick and deflects out of play. Perfect time to get that third pairing on the ice of Timothy Lilligren and uh, what was it? Martin Fayervari. So here we go. Nice face off win. Lilligren to Fayervari. Fayervari gets that one up to Michael McLeod, who actually sneaks through the defender. Here we go, baby. Get it across to Keegan Colasar. What a save by Connor Hellebuck. Jesus robbing Keegan Colasar on a wide open net. Just stretched right out. Splitsy splats. He's got that glove up. That was gorgeous. So here we go. Colin Blackwell. Unable to win that faceoff draw. And Dylan DeMello is going to bring it down the ice for Winterpeg. Now Lilligren got himself kind of caught out of position there, but Blackwell with a nice recovery. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was my bad. 
Lucas Reichel. I think it's Lucas Reichel, right? That's his name? <laughs> All right, we'll throw that one around the net. Here we go, baby. Keegan Colasar was almost a hero. Timothy Lilligren was already a hero in this game at one point. We're just going to dump that one deep, and Michael McLeod, boom, knock your man off it. Let's get around the net, get around the net. Now we'll back pass to Blackwell. Back in front to McLeod. Oh, that one was right in his chest. I told him to shoot top shelf. Someone's going to have to write out in the comments how to, like, phonetically say the French version of combatants. <laughs> because we used the double hatchet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice poke check by Ned. But because uh, we used the double hatchets, I thought something like warriors, fighters, you know, combatants, something like that. But it's Quebec City, so obviously you have to do the French version of it. But I'm like, is it like combatant? Something like that? <laughs> like... Montreal's like the Montreal Canadien, you know, like Montreal Canadien kind of thing. Everybody calls them the Montreal Canadiens, but I mean, whatever. I feel like I'm spending way too much time on this. <laughs> Here comes Lowry, dumps that one deep into the zone. We are already down to under seven minutes to go. Oh, that was bad. Not what I meant to do. And Lowry gets it in front of the net. Nice poke by Josh Manson. We got to get that number one defensive pairing off the ice very soon. Big slapper just wide. And here comes Ghost, taking it out of his own zone to Gus Nyquist. Turning back. Ooh, got the backhander, but Backland was getting uh, roughed up a little bit. One of my personal favorite players in the National Hockey League, Mr. Brandon Montour. I do love him. I love him a lot. Craig Smith back in around his own net on that third line, just going to whip it down the ice to Philip Heedle. I expect big things out of Heedle. I know he's playing in a bottom six roll. That one almost popped out loose. Matthew Joseph almost got there. So now with only two minutes to go, we will get the third defensive pairing out. I really don't know how much time uh, that fourth line forward group is going to get uh, for the rest of this period. But I definitely do want to get that third pairing D out there for the last couple of minutes of the period. Here we go. Craig Smith, poke it off your man. Gets it up to Scheif, up to Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor. Back to Ike. Or Ike Ehlers. <laughs> Over to Scheif. That's probably where I got mixed up right there. Ike, Scheif, <laughs> Ehlers, I don't know. Everything's so, everything just blends together. Philip Heal, oh, getting aggressive. It does not work out. And Kyle Connor runs down. Nice shot, blocker save. Easy blocker save by Ned. And now we're all out of position. We're all kind of chasing a little bit. That one pops out loose. And Philip Heedle. oh man, bad pass by me. That was my fault. That was terrible bad. Incredible bad. Impossible bad. There we go, Matthew Joseph in the final 10 seconds of this one. Gets it to Farivari. I don't think we're going to have enough time to get a good shot off. And Philip Heedle, come on, baby, shoot! <laughs> that one hits a stick and ends up completely flying out of the damn rink. So it's still one nothing for the Quebec City combatants after two. Shots have evened up a little bit at 19-16 to 16 in favor of us. There has not been a penalty in the game. But we have the one goal. It is Timothy Lilligren with his first by Gus Nyquist and Bo Horvat. Kind of a mixing of the lines. Third pairing defender with a second line sniper and a top line center. So put 20 minutes back on the clock. One last flipping time where we try to just extend this lead. Maybe get Ned a shutout in his first ever game. That would be unbelievable. And here we go. Tarasenko picking that one up. Gets a, hey, no, 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 no. You got to, Kaloran, come on. <laughs> yeah, take this boy down, man. We can't be having people just running our players. Uh, it's not going to let us fight? Is it just going to be a Shifley penalty, roughing? No, it's four on four. They had us grab assing, but they wouldn't let us fight. So now my top line freaking left winger is in the penalty box. Look it, we're just roughing each other up a little bit. Offsetting minors. Bo Horvat with a nice face-off win. Ghost through traffic off the crossbar again. Man, we sure do like those bars. <laughs> Whip that one around the net. Let's get back out in front. Tarasenko across to Bo Horvat. Huge save by Connor Helleba. Get out of the goddamn way, Bobo. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't mean to pass in that direction. I meant to go back to Horvat. Damn it. I must have just got the direction slightly wrong. And here comes Kyle Kana. It's a back to the point to Connor McPeonk. And here we go. Vlad Tarasenko, baby. He's got some wheels when he wants to get around your man. And he does. 
Oh, baby. Cross creaser goes. Can't put it in. Oh, man. The cross creasers aren't working so well for us. And now it's a two on one. It's Josh Morrissey coming down for Winnipeg. Gets it back to Kyle Connor. And he actually throws it wide as well. Gets his own rebound. And we're having a lot of trouble just clearing this thing out away from our net. Get it up to Tarasenko again. We got Josh Manson with us. Tarasenko, big shot. Nice glove save by Connor Hellebuck. And he's going to be forced to cover that one up. And this top line is dead. Here comes Harkins. Harkins is coming down in the Quebec City zone. It's going to take me a while to not say Sault Ste. Marie from last year. <laughs> Joseph with a nice, just easy pass up to Heedel. Ooh, that one for Craig Smith. Doesn't quite make it through. We're just going to whip it deep. And here comes Matthew Joseph. Boom! Throwing a hit. Heedel just tries to get it in front, and it does not work. Here we go. They're just going to dump it. Okay. So we're going to get that third pairing on because Calvin DeHaan's on it. And then as soon as I get that breakout pass going... Oh, baby. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Matthew Joseph, you're another one. Young player, I expect big things from you. I expect you to take that next step this year. Just low shot on net, hoping for a rebound. Craig Smith, trying to knock it off his man. Can't be done. Philip Heedel takes it away, though. Ah, damn it. But Craig Smith, he just wasn't able to hold on to that one. So Morrissey gets it up to Harkins. They're almost losing it again, and they did. Craig Smith takes the hit. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take the thing with you. You're going to be fine. Craig Smith looking for anyone in front that's just going to get open. Fairvari gets that one deep to Philip Heedle. Heedle cuts into Oh, no, I hit something on the way. Philip Heedle with a nice chance and a poke check by Connor Hellebuck. Kind of took care of that one. And then we lost control of it. We got to get that fourth line out there, baby. So defensive zone draw for Bobo. He wins that one back to Ghost. Ghost has a little trouble with it. That's been a couple of times where I try and make like a breakout pass to Ghost, and it just doesn't work. All right, Tarasenko stopping up. We're getting around, getting around our man into the ozone. Oh, my God, did Buddy ever just come at me so freaking fast. And Bo Horvat, Alex Kalorn, it's in the air. We don't know where it is, but Connor Hellebuck is able to find it. And now we can get that second line on the ice. I forgot doing the franchise modes. They're intense, and it blows your voice out like so fast, man. Michael Backlund with a nice face-off win. Ghost just waiting for someone to get open. Trevor Moore loses that one. Michael Backlund gets knocked off it by PLD, but Trevor Moore takes it away again. Here's Backlund. Gets it across, and Gus Nyquist can't get the shot. Right out in front. Take it. Nice save. Nice save. Trevor Moore still swinging at that puck, and they're just going to throw it out. All right, so Ghost picks that one up at center. Gets it. Oh, damn it. Trevor Moore didn't even reach for it. <laughs> Nate Schmidt bringing it down the ice for Winterpeg into the zone trying to get a shot nope Scheife's got it we got too many bodies in front of the net too many bodies too many bodies people start moving move up now damn you Ehlers people start moving away from in front of your own net Lowry in front nice play by Michael Backlin I think I might have a tired line here and I think that might be 90% of my problem Josh Manson up to Gus Nyquist come on pick it up and start moving buddy you got some wheels oof Nyquist takes the hit to make the play, getting around the net right out in front, and Ghost is unable to get the one tee off. Trevor Moore, backhand feed over to Ghost. Not exactly what I wanted to do, and Backlund was there and got a bit of a deflection, but then couldn't do anything with it. All right, we are going to go for the third line really quickly and the fourth line really quickly, and then get that number one line back out there. Try and do some gosh darn damage, man. Gets it to Keegan Kolasar, back to Brandon Montour, Montour, back to Calvin DeHaan, in front to Keegan Kolasar, and he's, oh, and he gets it poke checked off him by Connor Hellebuck, the fourth liner, trying to get her done, trying to make a beauty play, just didn't quite work. What do we got? Colin Blackwell with a nice steal, but he loses it. Gustafson throws it on net, nice block by Brandon Montour, and McLeod's just going to toss it back around behind his own net. Let's stop it up, slow her down. Colin Blackwell gets it out. Do we got anybody up there? No, we don't. And Keegan Colasar is not going to be able to make his way there. Down to basically two minutes left in the game. Brandon Montour again. Oh, gets trapped up behind the net. Tries to kick it away. Blackwell picks it up. Here we go. Top line on the ice. Immediately. Calvin DeHaan. Just take it, baby. Try and get deep. Here we go. Calvin DeHaan. Vladimir Tarasenko can't get the one T. Ah, uh, Tarasenko right in front. Nice save. Bo Horvat puts her home for his first goal as a member of the Quebec City Combatants, baby. That was Wunderbar. Look at this. Oh, just no room to work with. Bo Horvat in a phone booth when it comes to the goal line. Beautiful. Let's get a thumbnail, baby. 
than a minute to go in this game. And Tarasenko tries to get a pass across. Farivari brings that one back in. Tarasenko can't get that shot off. And he's getting whipped around the ice like a lunatic. Get open. Boom! One-timer. And Connor Ellibuck's got to be pretty sharp to stop that one. Does anybody want to fight? You want to go? No, they don't want to go. Oh, Bo Horvat must have, like, born leader as uh, one of his X-Factors. Because our whole team just is like full, fully rested now. So Michael Backlund deep in the offensive zone. Gus Nyquist pulls that one away. But it ends up all the way down the ice to Ned. Getting her out to Shane Gostisbear. And Gus Nyquist picks it up behind his own net. Before whipping that one up to Trevor Moore. And we lost it. It's all right. I'm assuming we're probably not going to get an empty netter. Because there's not enough time left. Oh, does it matter though? Here we go. Trevor Moore, he's got some wheels. He's got some wheels. Pick it up behind the net. Dylan DeMello, no, that one bounces out in front. Nate Schmidt gets it to PLD up to Blake Wheeler. And Wheeler coming down the ice. What a defensive play by Josh Manson. Here we go, Nyquist. Nah, that one hits a body and doesn't make it through. And this game is over. Nadelkovich with the shutout. We win our first ever game as an NHL franchise. Two to nothing over the Winnipeg Jets. That is absolutely a fantastic way to start. So the final shots were 32 to 22. Not a penalty taken in this game. My goodness. Bobo, yeah, he had a multi-point night. So Bo Horvat with a goal and an assist. And Vlad Tarasenko gets on the board, as does Calvin DeHaan. Now let's get back to the menu where we'll sim the second game. So here we are back at the main menu. We're going to have to go to edit lines. Uh, we have AHL back-to-backs and NHL back-to-backs, so I do switch the goalies. I actually turn uh, auto-rotate goalies off, and I just do it myself. So UPL going to be in the net for this next game, if you're new here. Uh, the way we do this is basically the same as a Be A Pro. I play one and sim one, play one, sim one. If we got back-to-backs, every once in a while I'll sim past both of the back-to-backs. Oh, look at this. I haven't even simulated the first period yet, and it's 3-1 to one QBC, baby. Shots 15-7 to seven against Anaheim. After the second, still 3-1. to one. Shots evened up, though. And in the third, oh, Anaheim ties it. Ryan Strom and Euro Vakaninen. In the OT, boom, Michael McLeod gets the overtime winner. Wow, 4-3 to three victory. Shots were really evened up by the end, though. So here we go. Tarasenko gets his first of the year by Kalorn and Manson. Kalorn gets his first by Tarasenko and more. Then he gets his second by Tarasenko. Jesus, so Tarasenko, Kalorn all having really good games. And top it all off with Michael McLeod getting his first as a combatant by Calvin DeHaan and Brandon Montour. Now we're going to jump into, you know what, we'll do, for the sake of length in this video, we will jump in to the third period, after I switch all the goalies back, against the St. Louis Blues. So UPL, not terrible in his first game. He faced 34 shots and he allowed three goals, but he also did go through overtime, and we are off to a 2-0-0 start. As a franchise, Tarasenko leading the parade with four points in two games. So here we go. It's getting intense. We got to simulate the first and second periods of this one. Then we're going to jump into the third for a nice quick game. After one, it's one nothing. St. Louis. Brandon Saad gets the goal on the power play. After two, two to one St. Louis. But Michael Backlund gets us on the board. Let's jump into it and see if we can win this thing, baby. Look at this. So according to this, we are actually a better team offensively and defensively on paper than the St. Louis Blues. And we are on a power play. I like that whole thing. Push for offense. Yeah, maybe I will. Here we go. We're on the power play for the next 55 seconds. Kalorn, get moving. Here we go. Kalorn back to the point. Tarasenko back to Ghost. Goes for a low shot on net, and that one does not work. And Scandell is able to get a hold of that one. Back to Tarasenko. Who's got to kind of, why, what have you done with your life? Come on now. Got to regroup <laughs> and try that again. Get her up to Quoth the Raven, Trevor Moore. Here we go. Ow, get out of here. Scandella giving us a lot of grief right now. Alex Kalorn gets it back to Tarasenko. Tarasenko holds the line, holds the line. Here we go. Now we're going to get out of that fray. Big shot on net. Nice save. I don't know who they have in net. I'm imagining it's uh, probably Binner. Oof. Yeah, Bennington's in net for St. Louis. We got a light, not overly tremendous shot on goal. 
Uh, goaltender Bennington might have got a little piece of that one. Josh Manson rushes in and ties the game, baby. <laughs> a lot of defensemen getting goals on this team. Wow. All right. So this game's almost immediately tied at two here in the third period. Josh Manson just rushes the net. Let's take a look at this one again because I don't really know what happened here. He rushed in. I went to make the pass and hit a skate, and then he just kind of tipped it five hole on Bennington. That was kind of a beautiful goal. Josh Manson with his first of the season. Beautiful. So what do we got? Vlad Ter Tarasenko is the league leader in points right now with five points in three games. Wow. He got another assist on that. And also Kalorn, who's having a wicked start to the year. I think we may have a couple new superstars here. And I think Alex Kalorn may be having a, a little bit of a renaissance here. Trying to get it just, just trying to kill clock off here. Fairvari, poker deep. There you go. Tori Krug, bleh, get knocked off this thing. Man, it's like, for, for a guy who's like, what, what is Tori Krug? He's like 5'7", 170 pounds or something like that. I, I know he's he's one of the smaller players in the National Hockey League, smallest, I mean, players in the National Hockey League, but it's like they make him too solid, man, way too solid. Like, you can't, like, he's so hard to knock down. All right, here we go. Thomas gets it taken off him by Lilligren. Up to Keegan Colasar, who can't hold on to it, but it's all right. It goes right back into our end, and Colin Blackwell's there eight days before anybody on St. Louis is there. And Robert Thomas ends up getting a wide open slot shot on Nadelkovich, who looks good again. Craig Smith can't take it off his man. Colton Pareko in front of saw another huge shot just wide. And Philip Heedle can't do nothing with it. And they got Taves. That's Jonathan Taves <laughs> in St. Louis. That's like blasphemous. All right, here we go. Right in front, that one's low shot on net. Was hoping Craig Smith could come in there and get a rebound. Nick Letty gets it poked off him by Craig Smith. Right out in front. Somebody get open. Nobody's getting open. Oh, my God. And then as soon as I said pass, I, like, board played myself. All right, we're going to have to get that third pairing out there pretty darn quick. Here we go. Nick Letty gets it in front to Jonathan Taves. Nice shot. Nice stop by Alex Nadelkovich. So let's go fourth line, third pairing for, like, minute and a half, two minutes. And then we'll jump back to our top six and we'll start fresh. So we got those number ones back on the ice with about 10 minutes to go in the third period. And here comes Ghost. Ghost up to Horvat. Horvat gets it up to Vladimir Tarasenko. Rushing in, stops up, stops up again. We're doing a little dipsy doodle dive and dodge. Gets it back to Josh Manson. Manson to Tarasenko. Hold on to that thing. And in front of the net. Oh, I was thinking about cutting into the middle. It wouldn't have worked though. Back to the point, back to Manson, back to Ghost. Ghost, down to Horvat. Horvat trying to get around behind the net, right in front, nice backhander, but can't get, the, can't get his own rebound as Klim Kostin takes that one out, and Torupchenko brings it in for St. Louis. Back to Klim Kostin, and again, Alex Nadelkovich making saves, baby. Back around behind the net, Alex Kalorn's going to get that one to Bobo. Bobo, oh, look at this. Up to Tarasenko, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. In front, get around your man and toss in an easy one, baby. Three to two lead suddenly for Quebec City as Vlad Tarasenko gets his second goal of the year in just the third game. And now I think he's got, oh God, what does he have? He's, I think he's got five points, six points. I think he has six points this year. Something like that. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> Oh, we definitely got a couple resident super uh, superstars here. Yeah, he has six points. Kalorn's got five already. That is unreal. And just like that, we got the three to two lead. Looking great. That top line's really working, man. But there's other players on this team that are working relatively well as well. We got a lot of help from the defense. Trevor Moore doesn't pick that one up, but he gets it back eventually. Oh my goodness, cross creaser. And Gus Nyquist puts in his first. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. We got way too much room on that. But I've noticed the first couple of games, the other teams, like, aren't taking shots. Like, they're very selective about their shooting, right? Look at that. Wide open. Binner with the, the sprawling attempt to make the save. And we got a two-goal lead now suddenly. Alex Nedeljkovic in the top ten and wins. We're just going to dump that one deep. All we got to do is kill time now. Scandella, take a hit. Who do we got? Bruh, Gus Nyquist tries for the poke check. That one's just a little bit wide, and I believe that's Logan Brown coming down the ice for St. Louis. But Backlund makes a nice play, takes that one away. We got nobody open, man. 
Like, what are we doing? Oh, over to Moore. Moore seems like he has, like, no vision. <laughs> it's like, is, is Trevor Moore, like, half blind or something in this game? DeHaan back to Montour. We're going to get that third line on the ice. Whoa, Montour takes a hit deep in his own zone. Just whip that one down the ice. Craig Smith actually picks it up out of nowhere. And Matthew Joseph loses control. Whoops, whoops, I roofed it. I didn't mean to do that. Here comes the Falconator. Nice shot just wide on the far side of the net. Here we go. Nick Letty is able to hold on to that one. Falk again, but Matthew Joseph tried to dive in front of that one. Nick Letty getting knocked around, and here comes Timothy Lilligren trying to get it out of his own zone. Doesn't matter. Left the zone. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Philip Heedle back behind the net. Uh, we're going to go with line one. Oh, look at him just, like, leading him on. Just leading him on. Heedle uh, tries to get that one to Tarasenko, but Buchnevich was in way too tight. Nice shot. Nice stop by Alex Nedeljkovic. And Jonathan Taves getting knocked off that one. Fervari. Oh, what a save by Ned, baby. Here we go. Up to Vladdy. Vladdy gets around his man. Who's he got with him? He's got Bobo with him. Gets it to Horvat. Horvat back to Tarasenko. Unable to throw that one in. Manson holds the zone. Up to Ghost. Through traffic. Kalorn. What a save by Bennington. Holy. We got a bit of a goalie show going on here. But they have now pulled Jordan Bennington. They got an empty net, big shot by Jordan Kairou, and that one is unsuccessful. Nice stop again by Nadelkovic, and another save. All right, all right, all right. We're going second line. We'll go second line. <laughs> we don't really want that because we want prospects, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> all right, Gustard. That's it across to Michael Backlund. Michael Backlund just trying to rush out with it. Can he hold it? Can he hold it? He's in the zone. He's in the zone. And easy peasy lizard squeezy second of the night. Oh, wow. Michael Backlund gets his second of the night, I believe second of the season, as our second line center. So Gus Nyquist moves up the ranks in league leading, league leading points leaders. Ah, that was a tough one to say. All right, here we go. Backlund assisted by Nyquist. So Nyquist, I think, had a two-point night as well, right? All right, here we go. Ghost. Get it across to Michael Backlund. Backland, kill the clock, baby. That's all we got to do. 15 seconds to go in this one. Krug, oh, what is happening? Like, why, why are the hits so wonky in this game? Like, I thought they said, like, the hitting physics were, like, so much better in this game. It's like they're awful. Like, they're really not good. Here we go. Manson, three seconds left. Just ice it, man. It ain't even going to reach the end of the ice before the time expires, and we go 3-0-0 oh, oh, to start our franchise that is fantabulous baby now let's take a look at everybody's stats in this game there's just a whole flipping bunch of them final shots 33 to 26 in favor of quebec city st louis really did come back when it came to shooting we were unable to put anything home in the power play they were two for four i don't like that at all so michael backland got his first by gus nyquist and trevor moore josh manson with his first by tarasenko and alex kalorn tarasenko with number two by Bobo and Kalorn, Gus Nyquist gets his first by Trevor Moore. And Michael Backlund gets his second of the night, second of the year, assisted by Gus Nyquist, who had a massive night. So here we are, back at the menu where Vlad Tarasenko, six points in three games. And we are about to go up against the Buffalo Sabres, who are 0-0-1 and have only played one game this year. Wow. All right. So let's simulate ahead through this one, and then we are going to play against the Carolina Hurricanes. What a tough couple of games to start off our franchise mode. The ones we're jumping into. Oh, after one, it's one nothing Buffalo. We're out shooting them 11 to eight. So after two, three to one, Colin Blackwell gets the lone goal for Quebec City. I think we might be losing our first game. Oh, seven to three. <laughs> But Philip Heedle puts up his first, and Kalorn gets one as well. Shot's pretty even. Ned, your stats just got obliterated, buddy. All right, so Colin Blackwell with his first of the year by Keegan Kolasar and Matthew Joseph. Alex Kalorn gets his third already by Vlad Tarasenko. Philip Heedle by Matthew Joseph and Craig Smith. So that third line also getting on the board. That's what you want to see. Matthew Joseph had a couple assists in that one, but now we are taking on the Carolina Hurricanes for our fifth game of as a franchise. 
So the third and final game we're going to be jumping into in this video is up against the Carolina Hurricanes after a tough loss in the simulation to the Buffalo Sabres. Seven to flip and three. We are going to jump in at the beginning of the second period of this one. And after one, ooh, we're up two to one. Nyquist and McLeod get the goals, but we're being outshot 13 to 11. So I'll see you guys on the ice at the Maxwell House. All right, so heading into this one with a lead is quite fantastic considering Carolina is a much better team than we are. <laughs> Just top to bottom, way better team than the Quebec City Combatants. Here we go, Ghost gets that one from Horvat off the faceoff over to Josh Manson. Manson looking for someone to go to, gets it back to Bobo. Bobo gets knocked off that one, and Tarasenko with a nice stick lift turns around with that one. Let's try and get this deep, back around behind the net. Kalorn picks it up. Trying to get out in front. Oh, man. Tarasenko, you got to stay out of the way, buddy. <laughs> Here we go. Back to Ghost. Just going to try and whip that one on net. It does not work. And Kalorn is unable to pull that one away. They're cycling it back around behind their own net. And Slavin gets it to Sebastian Ajo. He's dangerous. Always dangerous. Manson's on the wrong side. Jeez. Kalorn picks that one up behind his own net. Well done, buddy guy. Here we go. Bobo Horvat, whoa, looking for someone to go to. He gets knocked off it, and Taravainen gets it back to Svechnikov. But Tarasenko is there to pick up the garbage. Trying to just get into the zone right now. Oh, I was trying to throw a low shot on net, but Bertuzzi trying to cycle that one around. Gets it to Pesci. Brady Shea walking in. That one's easily blocked, and Matthew Joseph picks it up. Gets it, oh, man, gets it knocked off of him. And Bertuzzi with a backhander. Calvin DeHaan was kind of in the way. We get a backhand feed over to Joseph, up to Brandon Montour, who gets it to Craig Smith, entering the zone, whips it around the net, and Matthew Joseph is there to pick it up. Here we go, back to the point. Calvin DeHaan with a long bomber through a little bit of traffic there. Watch those sticks, though. Watch those sticks. We're in dangerous with those sticks. we got to be smart here. What we got, boom, Yanmark gets knocked off that one, but Brady Shea is still there. To pick that one up, but throws it just a little bit too far. Calvin DeHaan with a great pass to Brandon Montour. I didn't mean to run right back into traffic. We'll get that one up to Philip Heedle. Philip Heedle getting into the zone. Oh, man, do they ever cover your defenseman better in this game, eh? Well, I'm not covering that one. <laughs> All right, so we got an opening. Brandon Montour through traffic. That one was almost deflected by Philip Heedle, but it eventually was not, and now... We are getting that third pairing on as Craig Smith still holds it in the zone. Oops, we lost her. Ah, damn it. But then it's like your, your CPU teammate just like doesn't go for it. That might be a bad line change now. It's a three on two. But Blackwell comes in quick to pick that one up and get it across to Feyervari. Who gets it up to Michael McLeod who's getting roughed up like crazy. And Cole picks that one up and brings it back in. Keegan Cole is our boom. Throwing a little hit on him. Might have been a little late, but it's fine. It's fine. Nobody's calling penalties on nothing. Here we go. Timothy Lilligren gets that one up to Keegan Kolasar. Kolasar's just going to dump it down the ice because that's what fourth lines do. Ethan Bear picks it up and immediately gets tied up at the point. But Feyervari was way behind. Here comes Milan Lucic as a Carolina Hurricane. Nice save by Ned. That would have been a golden opportunity for the Carolina Hurricanes on a just a bad line change. And Alex Kalorn gets knocked off it, but Bo Horvat picks it back up, gets it to Vlade. Vlad Tarasenko cutting into the middle, gets it across to Alex Kalorn, who gets his fourth of the season already. And we got a three to one lead, baby. We have got a three to one lead in this game. Tarasenko, who is leading this team in points, just got his, uh, oh, what is it? His sixth assist? <laughs> Something like that. It's like, dude, in, in uh, oh, God, what is this, the fifth game of the season or something like that? Vladdy's got eight points, two goals, six assists, eight points for Tarasenko. What a season he's having. After a really good season in St. Louis, it was surprising that they left him exposed at the expansion draft when this team was created, considering how good of a season he had. But it's probably because... His contract was expiring because I did not add a contract here. I never add a contract here. I know sometimes it like messes up the real contracts, but I don't know. I don't like it. All right, here we go. What do we got? Sebastian Ajo. Throw a hit on him, but he's not going to move because he's Sebastian Ajo. Right up in the slot. Oh, Bobo with a big block. Nicely done. And Ghost back in behind his net. Throwing hits on Ajo, but it doesn't matter. I warped away from him. I said to follow him around the net. And it literally threw me back out in front. Oh, look at this kid go to work. Kid. Alex Kalorn, <laughs> so what, 33? 
Oh, man. Jacob Slavin bringing that one down the ice for the Carolina Hurricanes. Manson trying to play good D. Oh, nice poke by Ned to get that one away. Trevor Moore got a little out of position on that one. Nice stick lift, and we didn't do anything with it. Oh, my goodness. And Seth Jarvis gets his second of the year. Man, it's like we just got caught flat-footed, you know? He got the first shot off. I went to shove him, and it's like it just didn't. It just didn't work. <laughs> oh, man. Gus Nyquist trying to cut in the middle, just trying to hang on to the thing, but I hung on a little too long, and now he's getting up slowly. That's not what you want to see. So Ghost, every time you, the thing you got to keep remembering, though, is every, oh, my goodness, Seth Jarvis, no! <laughs> it was sitting on the goal line, damn it. And Nedeljkovic kicks it into his own net. Jeez, that's not what you want to see. <laughs> Are they even going to show it again? No, they don't, eh? Yeah. Oh, God, that drives me so bonkers that they, like, took that option away. I actually like being able to see replays for both sides and to, like, be able to skip things. But when they took that presentation mode away, it's like you can't skip anything anymore. So now it's all tied at three. KK comes back in. Nice toe save by Ned. That was just one of the... What is happening with my passing here? My guys just don't want to pass, man. Come on. Keep the hold on to it. Jesus. <laughs> he eventually does get knocked. And Heedle gets knocked. Look at this. Last chance effort. <laughs> And it was a successful pass. I mean, we didn't do anything with it, but it's like we kept, we kept possession, so that's good. So that third pairing defense is just like not going to get on the ice. They're not going to get any more time in this one. Calvin Dahan back in his own corner, picking that one up. Final 10 seconds of the period. Gets it up to Tarasenko. Tarasenko rushing into the zone, and he's kind of getting knocked off. It gets it across to Kalorn again. What a save by Steady Freddy and just a last second shot at the net, but that was no good. Had no hope. Look at, oh, they are going to show it. Look, Ned just backs up and kicks it into his own damn net. Oh, that's unfortunate. So the shots, Jesus, are 25 to 15 for Carolina, and we are 0 for 3 on the power play. They haven't even had a power play yet. Let's take a look at who scored what. Michael McLeod gets his second of the year by Ghost and Blackwell. Gus Nyquist gets his second by Calvin DeHaan and Trevor Moore. And Alex Kalorn with his fourth by Vlad Tarasenko and Bo Horvat. Horvat, out of everyone on this team, has actually been struggling the most on that top line. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock one last time in this video. While we friggin' just tried to stop Carolina, it's like, man, we got that, we got that first goal in the second period to make it 3-1. to one. It was like all Carolina after that. It's like, man, we can't be having this. Bobo loses that one, but Kalorn gets it back. That was an interesting little deflection that very slowly trickled uh, to Frederick Anderson. And now we've got a delayed penalty coming. Now all we have to do is touch the puck. Here we go, Manson backing off. Playing D right in front. Big save by Ned, but we still haven't touched it. Jarvis back to Taravine, and Kalorn almost took it off him. They're, they're passing really well right now. Burnsy with a long bomber on net gets it back to him. Slavin <laughs> to Jarvis. <laughs> Oh my god, all I'm trying to do is touch the damn thing. Okay, here we go. Ghost, you got a little you got some wheels. You got some wheels. Let's go. Alright, alright, alright. Two minutes into the third. Bo Horvat. Throw a little hit on KK. There we go. Oh my god, why do you always do that? I tell you to throw it around the net and you whip it at your own goaltender like a dumbass. Nice little pass up to Blackwell, but he always has trouble controlling that one. Marty Natchez is gonna be able to hold on to it. Gets it to Erod, to KK, and. Did we just take another penalty? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Keegan Colasar. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's who I was controlling. So, 10 seconds of five on three for the Carolina Hurricanes. Dahan gets it to Joseph. Matthew Joseph gets very easily knocked off that one. And here comes Andre Svechnikov across to Tyler Bertuzzi. Huge save by Ned. Bobo, let's go. Oh, look at this guy using the boards weaponizing those boards. Oh, I thought I could get that one to Brandon Montour. He does eventually get it back. Oh, no. <laughs> Kick it back into your own zone, and Tara Vinen's the guy that's there. Oh, the defender. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Sebastian Ajo makes it 4-3 to three for Carolina. I was controlling the uh, forward. I think it was Matthew Joseph, and I was backing up towards my own net basically as a substitute second defenseman because it would have been a two-on-one and then the other defender just like bailed on the play <laughs> i think it was like calvin dehan or something just like totally bailed on his position went and chased the puck carrier 
and then ended up leaving that pass wide open. My goodness, not what you want to see. Lily gets that one up to Joseph. Joseph just going to wire that one down the ice. Let's get all those number ones back out there. Craig Smith, throw that body a little bit. Try and throw it on Slavin, but he's pretty big. <laughs> so we got Bobo. Oh, and Sebastian Ajo brings that one in offside. We'll keep the number ones out there. It's going to throw all our timing off. But I think that means we might be able to finish this game with our top six on the ice. Again, great strategy for killing penalties, right? <laughs> oh, man, here comes Calvin Dahan. Walks through the whole damn team. Dahan now, boom, throws a little bit of a hit on Natchez. Tries to throw another hit on Slavin. But again, he's just he's too big. <laughs> it's too hard to take it off him. Here comes KK coming down. He's got Brandon Montour playing defense. Erod comes in with a nice shot. Another good save by Alex Nedeljkovic, who, regardless, even though he has allowed four goals in this game, I mean, he's not, not looking too bad. Lily tries to get it up to Heedl, but it's no good. We'll get those number ones on. Svetch. Oh, damn it. I missed him with the poke. I was in, like, the perfect position. What a dumbass. Here we go. Josh Manson back playing defense. Ooh, that was a close one. That might have, might have went kind of off the side of the net. Slavin in front of Tara Vinen. Taho with a funky little shot. Oh, I probably shouldn't have played that. <laughs> in front of Bert. Oh, my goodness. Now I'll play it. Yeah. See, you can play it when you got someone who's actually in position. <laughs> so here we go. Gus Nyquist in the zone. Big shot. That one bounces away from Freddie Anderson. And Svetch is going to get it to Ajo, over to Slavin. They're bringing it back through the neutral zone. We're running out of time to come back in this game. And Ajo's got a partial break. Holy, thank God we took it off him. I played it again. Oh, my goodness. It's like, then you guy, like, just refuses to turn around. That was a decent defensive play right there, though. Michael Backlund gets it up to Vlad Tarasenko, who, again, loses it to Sebastian Ajo. But we pick it back up. We still got it. This game does feel, like, clunkier than 22 does. You know what I mean? It's like it's it, it, it's weird. It's like the game feels clunky. Tarasenko gets right in front. Can't do anything with that one. What do we got? Back to you, Vlad. Oh, I should. Don't be a dumbass. Tarasenko with a great chance in front, point blanker that Freddie had to be sharp to save. I know we we desperately need to get these defenders off the ice. They're very tired. <laughs> Trevor Moore. All right, let's go back around our net. Let's kill a little bit of time while we wait for our guys to get on the ice. Here we go. Brandon Montour, you're officially a forward now, and he's got a breakaway. Backhander, and it's good! <laughs> Brandon Montour with his first goal as a member of the Quebec City Combatants. Jeez, um, Crow, and it was a beautiful one. <laughs> oh, I love Brandon Montour. Look at this. Just, like, the forward was back playing defense. Trevor Moore was, like, basically behind his own net when Montour came on the ice. So it was like he just gunned it to the O-zone. <laughs> Oh, that was wonderful. What do we got? Trevor Moore is almost, <laughs> is, is like tied for second in like a four-way tie for league lead in assists. He has five assists already this year on that second line. And that was a very, very important one. So here we go. Slavin. Or er, Slavin. Don. <laughs> Dehaven. Gets that one to Philip Heedle. Philip, I was holding it, trying to wait for the guy to get open. And that was Lucic. That's a dangerous one. Here we go, Monty. You want to do it again? <laughs> Brandon Montour takes a shot at Freddie Anderson. He's just going to cover it up. Now we are basically in the final five. Here comes Luch. Oh, DeHaan just got totally in my way. What are you doing? My goodness. The fourth line on this Hurricanes team is Derek Grant, KK, and Lucic. What a strange line. <laughs> You know what? Let's just get those number ones out there. Here we go. Matthew Joseph playing keep away a little bit. In front of the net. Gets it across to Vladi. But he can't get the shot off. And nobody went for it. So Tarasenko. Just getting in front of that net. Trying to figure out where he, where he wants to go with it. Monty. Back to Dahan. Tarasenko's in front. But that one ends up going off a skate and doesn't make it all the way through. They're backing off. So we'll get that third pairing out there. We just got to play well defensively with our forwards. Erod takes a big hit. Lucic is able to hold on to it. He's got it in the zone. Come on, Lilligren, you got to turn around faster than that. Oh, oh, oh. I told him to turn around, and he's like, oh, God, did he ever take his time. That is unfortunate, man. Oh. So Erod gets his first goal of the season. And again, Carolina takes the one-goal lead. We're so close to the end. This is Bologna. 
Gets it up to Michael Backlund. Here we go. We're pulling our goaltender, so it'll be a six on five. Low shot on net. Backlund got it in front, and Trevor Moore, who I believe still does not have his first goal of the season. Get that one across to Fairvari. Low shot on net. I think that was deflected by Tarasenko beautifully. And now we just got to freaking try and track these guys down. Slow them down. There you go, Svetch. Nicely done. Backlund as well. What? No! <laughs> Vlad Tarasenko takes the penalty. God, slashing. Slashing is really up this year, man. Now let's see. What can we accomplish here with our very Hollywood-looking coach? <laughs> okay, so Craig Smith, Philip Heedle, and I think that's Alex Kalorn with Ghost and someone. So that's not terrible. Oh, they got it right off the bat. Gets it to Burnsy. Stop him. There you go. Nicely done. Final seven seconds. Come on, Lily. Get in there, baby. Lilligren tries to do a cross crease pass. It is to nowhere. He'll just throw it. <laughs> oh. And that is the first loss that we have had jumping into a game. Huge 5 4 loss. After allowing seven in his last game, Ned allows five. That's 12 goals against in his last two. They're one for four on the power play. We went 0 for three. We evened up the shots a little bit, but they still outshot us relatively heavily. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the third period goal was a gorgeous one, though. Brandon Montour with his first goal of the season, assisted by the very solid passing Trevor Moore. So let's get back to the menu where we're going to simulate on ahead through the both of the back-to-backs. Lucas Yasik has been injured with a bruised arm for Montreal. Our farm team is in Montreal. So you know what? Head coach replaces player. We are now 3-2-0. That's not bad. Vlad Tarasenko is lighting it up. Eight points in five games. Not too flipping bad. But for the first half of the back-to-backs, we are going to put UPL in the net. We're also going to put uh, Rodrigue in the net in the minors. So let's advance day. Go up against the struggling LA Kings. We'll go to Central. Sure. We'll look at it real quick, but there's never any info. Like at the beginning of the year for the first like one or two, it's like there's never info on like almost anyone. So who's this guy? Cam Allen. Leadership ability, two years out. Could potentially have some X factors or something. <laughs> I don't know. It all depends on where we end up this season, right? You know, as the season goes along, the games do get harder to win, especially once you get into the second half of the season, the games get very hard to win. So after the first, oh baby, two to nothing. Philip Heedle on the power play. Vlad Tarasenko scores as well in the second. Boom, four to one, baby. <laughs> Alex Kalorn and Michael Backlund. It's four one Quebec City. And in the third, ooh, we allowed three, but Nyquist makes it a five to three victory, heavily outshooting the LA Kings, forty one to twenty nine. Let's see who got what, baby. Vlad Tarasenko with his third of the year by Bobo. Philip Heedle gets his second by Michael Backlund. Alex Kalorn with number five by Trevor Moore and Vlad Tarasenko. And Michael Backlund gets his third by Josh Manson and Trevor Moore. And finally, Gus Nyquist with number three by Trevor Moore. <laughs> Michael Back Jesus. Oh, my God, that boy. Ten points in six games for Vlad Tarasenko, though. Like I said, what a year he's having. You imagine if he puts up, like, a hundred-point season. Wouldn't that be, like, unbelievable? That'd be so wild. All right, so now we'll get through one more in the simulation. We'll do a stats update, and that's how we're going to finish it all off. We are 4-2-0, and entering the seventh game of the season up against the San Jose Sharks. So, after one, tied at one. Okay, Matthew Joseph puts it past Capo Kakinen, and in the second. Ah, damn, San Jose goes up 2-1, to one, heavily outshooting us in this game now. And in the third... 3-3 three, three tie. Backlund and Tarasenko get them. So a lot of goals against on, on our team. And in the freaking overtime. Oh, uh, Steve. What is it? Steven Lorenz? Isn't that his name? Wins it for San Josie. Matthew Boo. Matthew Joseph with his first by Craig Smith. Tarasenko with number four by Kalorn and Montour. And Michael Backlund with number four by Trevor Moore and Gus Nyquist. Trevor Moore might just be the friggin' best passer on this team. What an unbelievable passer. Jeez. But this is a pretty... Oh, my God. Montreal, you guys are all... Oops, I accidentally hit best lines. Montreal, you guys are all made of glass. Like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So in the next episode... Great. Sure. In the next episode, we got to go up against the undefeated Florida Panthers. We're 4-2-1, though. That's pretty decent. And Vladdy's having a wicked start to the year with 11 points in seven games, man. 
and a lot of assists, and he's a plus four. He's only taken one penalty. Look at Kalorn. Kalorn's having a big one, too. Trevor Moore, nine assists this year. No goals, though. Gus was seven. Backlund's got six points. Bobo struggling with with only five. Manson's got three. He's been good. Matthew Joseph's coming around. Brandon Montour, got to love him. Calvin DeHaan with three points as well. Michael McLeod has those two goals. I think one of them was a game winner. Philip Heedle with two. Blackwell with two. Everybody else down here is not. <laughs> Ooh, Ghost. Fairvari doesn't have a point, but that's fine. He's like a defensive defenseman or something. The fact that Ghost only has one point this year in 25 minutes a game and ice time, power play time, everything. Oh, Ned. God, your numbers are, oh, they're horrendous. Jesus. Ugh. UPL's looking a little better, but it's like, <laughs> Ned, you're my guy. I signed you to like a four-year contract that is rich. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. Damn. That is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.